Hello, and welcome to episode 9 of Let's Build a Kingdom with Cortland Dune. It's been a while because I have been busy losing money because I work from home. <laughs> So I've had to concentrate on uh, other things, sadly. But as you can see, over the course of several weeks, I was able to compile this amount of video, <laughs> which is slightly shorter than most of them, uh, most of the previous videos. But uh, hopefully, it will be enough. As you can see, I am constructing the uh, lower half of the. Uh, main living quarters. The, uh, I, you might call them the, the, the middle class um, of the city. Just doing some of the, the standard uh, style roofs that I've been doing on other buildings. And the more buildings I create, the more variation I uh, start to try. I, I try and find... I, I look at what I've done before, and I repeat it every once in a while, but I try to... I try to make buildings look similar and different at the same time, which sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. As you can see with that experiment right there on the uh, overhang. Now as we get further back into the city, I'm uh, making the buildings uh, less nice. So these four buildings are sort of the, uh, <laughs> the tiny slum on this side of the city, right next to the prison. But they do have a prime location for the cr the criminal underworld of this uh, fair city. Once I finish the roofs here, I uh, need to vary them up a little bit with uh, the uh, the scatter shot wood style that lets them look a little bit less. Um, nice. <laughs> and I feel like that just helps give it this patch together look. Here we're constructing the walls and uh, floors of the brothel in town. Going for a simple look. And every once in a while you see me pause there, and that's, that's either me dealing with something in real life or uh, the game crashing on me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the uh, the gambling den. Ah, oh, there I crashed. <laughs> but again, I wanted the gambling den to look um, like a fairly reputable building, I guess, suppose. And right next to it. The Apothecary, for all your poison needs. Oh, and, and healing. He sometimes does healing, too. <laughs> Mostly poison, though. So, now I'm putting in a, uh, a chimney, because I figured, uh... Why not? <laughs> <laughs> 
and I'm breaking up the roof. Because I figure the building wouldn't be in... super nice. And there we have it. The lower half of town. Now it's time to move on to the apothecary. Or should I say, move in. Always have to put a sign on front, right? <laughs> so for the interior here, I started by making the uh, front desk, and then I kept pushing it forward because I realized there needed to be a back area. Because, I mean, <laughs> gotta create potions somewhere. <laughs> Moving on, we are headed over to the Gambling Den. Throw a sign out front, and let's move inside. I wanted to put slot machines in, not because it would be historically accurate, but because, uh, I wasn't exactly sure how to get across the idea that it was a gambling den um, <laughs> at all. I wasn't sure at all what to do. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Um, it'd be greatly appreciated. I might come back here and redesign the whole thing, uh, depending on if someone can give me a better idea. Once I had finished in there, I came back just a few minutes later, and I started adding paintings. And I also wanted to redo the floor, because um, for a gambling den, I figure a floor should probably look pretty cheesy. And why not have it be green with a gold coin in the center? <laughs> and now we move to the brothel. That place of ill repute. And other things. <laughs> so going into the first floor, I start by lighting the fire and throwing in stairs to the upper level. Once that's set, we're able to make the front desk, put in some chests, and a nice little chair for whoever's in the front to sit, and a, a record player because, well, it's a brothel and you gotta have romantic music not necessarily romantic but you know just you know whatever <laughs> moving up to the second floor uh, I uh, break away some spots so you can see me placing paintings and I have to leave that area open there to make sure that the camera can fly steadily through the area <laughs> it's really hard to find the painting you want and moving back downstairs, I finish up with some extra paintings. Lost the video file, so here's a here's a spin around. Gorgeous. <laughs> now, moving to the other side of the city. We have the butcher, the candlestick maker, the baker, and the blacksmith. And we'll be starting with the blacksmith on the end. Step one is we have to refoliate the ground <laughs> with grass. And I decided to put in some lamps on the corners of the fence uh, around the market area. Once I've thrown doors down as a preliminary measurement for where uh, the buildings are going to link up. Link up loosely, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I decided it'd be fun to watch the grass grow, but uh, boy was I wrong. <laughs> I sped it up almost 200% uh, and <laughs> it still took forever. That's actually 200% a for, uh, uh, more than the already 15 times speed that 
<laughs> I record these videos at already. So for the blacksmith, I uh, created a very simple low roof, and I started by building a chimney for the the main furnace, and I didn't like its placement. I wanted it to be more prominent since this is the blacksmith after all. So I made a gigantic one right in the center. Built it way up and I also wanted to put smoke coming out of it and I've seen other people use webs as smoke before so I decided to give it a shot. I think it looks alright but uh, I, I think I might take it down later. Fixing up some road there, adding a lamp, and a sign out front. Now, for the chimney, I also wanted to make it look like it, it's so big and so ma just, just massive that it needs support, so I put a fence structure around it that makes it kind of look like scaffolding or uh, support beams. I added some secondary furnaces, and I wasn't really happy with them being perfectly square like that, so I played with their design quite a bit. And there we have it. The main look for the blacksmith's exterior. Once we get inside, it's time to light this place up. So, just add some nether brick, nether rack I should say, and uh, drop in a lot of fire. Cover the place with uh, anvils and uh, cauldrons full of water. And since in Minecraft, anvils degrade over time, why not just stack the area full of them, just in case you need an extra one? And of course, fill it up with wood too, because you gotta stoke the fire with something. That'll be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. <laughs>